that has led me to sleep in a cemetery and wake in the morning covered in dew only to walk over the hillside and knock apples out of the tree with a guitar for breakfast. All of the world is a curious laboratory and really your, your responsibility, as mine is, is to, to try different leads and test them out and see what works, what doesn't work, what did we learn in the process of learning. And it's fun. If, if I can get out of my own way, I can have fun with it by being invested more in the process than I can in, in being invested in the outcome. There's an interesting idea that I really resonate with as a Sagittarian because as a Sag, I, I know for myself, I like to shoot arrows. I've often just loved to pull back the bow and let fly. I haven't always been the best at aiming where I'm trying to get to, but I, I'm so enamored with the, the, the investigation of what it is to pull back the bow and to feel it in my breath that I'm less concerned about where it goes with. I, I spent my 20s working as a wine and spirits rep where I, as the son of an alcoholic, really was surprised to find myself. And at one point when life kind of shook me, I found myself traveling to Europe and uh, just living. Sometimes I would sleep on a bench, sometimes I would rent an apartment for months at a time wasn't circumstance so much as curiosity and it's hard being curious sometimes because it can almost feel like there's no ground underneath the feet like there's no rudder or there's no hand on the rudder and the ship is just steering itself based upon the elements and the, and the influences it wants to know about science and spirituality and uh, efficiency and the body and anatomy and physiology and, and why do epigenetics potentially hold resolutions for things that our ancestors gave us as inheritance? Why are there all of these building blocks that we don't really know how to put together and yet we can see that they belong together? Interestingly enough, the target draws the arrow. Even in amidst all of the wandering and the, and the feeling rudderless, I've known that in my life there is something that is drawing me forward. Whether it was a partner or a job or a destination or, or what, whatever the end outcome was that I was investigating, it was actually the journey to get there that I was most invested in. And that has led me to sleep in a cemetery and wake in the morning covered in dew only to walk over the hillside and knock apples out of the tree with a guitar for breakfast. Sometimes it's just a matter of frame, right? Because a tight frame really allows me to see only so much. Whereas if I draw back, and this is from my viewpoint. You can only see my eyes here, but from here you can see so much more. It's a funny life if you can enjoy it just enough to enjoy it. I hope that you're taking this seriously with the precious dose of 